right, guys, uh, we're here today with uh, Thornhill after they've just jumped off stage playing at Good Things. So, first thing, guys, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. No worries. So, how'd it go, boys? Big question, how was it? Sickest show we've played for a long time, I'd say. Yeah, probably. Did you just say that, or is that so No, I actually reckon we said top five. Top five yeah, all time. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what, was, what was so good about it? And the response, response, just the crowd, and just like the. Like the stage sound is really good and everyone was just vibing. It was just like a really good atmosphere. I actually noticed that, like I've seen a few bands out the front, like the sound you know, that we was taken around a bit, it's not that flash, but now that it's in there, like it sounds just so much better at it. So I think we got, yeah, we got lucky with the stage being the undercover one as well. It felt really cool. It was amazing to see all those people created in that. Oh. Yes. So this is your third day in a row. So I like, know oh, you thought you had a day off in between. <laughs> yes, I remember that. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. You were wrong. Yeah. 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 Is, it, is it a bit tough? Like, it's not so much the, the time on stage playing. It's like hotel trips, airplanes, that sort of stuff. Like, does, does it take a toll? I think in terms of performance, it's helpful because you're in a rhythm, you're ready to go, you know what you have to do every day. But like in terms of your actual overall health and like your emotional health, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. 6.30 a.m. Bobby Falls have been around for 6.57. We've had the worst. We've always we had the worst, so you have to fuck that. How's the hate people going? Have you kept it in check? You know what? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. I have a hate people tell on me in my pocket, and I'm waiting until I have to have it, yes. but I'm not just going to have yes. it. When I landed, I was like, oh, this is bad. And then I got to say, yeah, we woke up this morning dry. We were, as yeah, we woke up this morning a bit dry. Had to turn the air con. Hey, I noticed the waters and yeah, right. the waters. So we have the party tonight. Yeah, I'm just all wet. We finished. Yeah, yeah. 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 You don't sound too confident. Oh, look, we're old. Mate, no, you haven't got grades yet, mate. So don't. No, you don't need to be old. It's true. It's 5 p.m. We get a bit tired. Oh well. So we'll see how <laughs> we'll we see go. How we go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you guys released your latest album, Heroin, back in uh, June this year. Like it was, had a slightly different direction to what people are used to. Like we spoke about this the other day, but you were saying you weren't sure how it was all going to go down live with everyone. Like it, the new songs, how did they go? Yeah, what did you think? To be honest with you, I didn't see much of you. I was in here the whole time. <laughs> I wasn't in. Uh, uh, I, I, I did see the start. And you sounded amazing. Like the, the first 30 seconds were fantastic. Oh, <laughs> but then I had to I come in the middle of the That's why you say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, the sound was good. I had a few people jump in. My lady over here was taking photos the whole time and she came back smiling. So. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I love that. I think the translation has been really good. House Nerd I always somehow is our biggest live song here, I think. So that's been really cool to see everyone. But also, um, when we were writing those tracks, it was sort of something we were quite conscious of. It was just like what would translate live and what we wanted to play live. Because we sort of stepped back from like the, the technicality of the dark pool. Because we wanted to sort of you know look up a little bit and enjoy the show a little bit more instead of being like glued to our instruments at a time. More about the performance. So like proper stage, could you see any of your, your old school bands sort of sitting there? You know, like maybe think of like, what's going on here? Was it any good reaction? Really? Not as much so, as we thought. Yeah. Yeah. Is that like across all the shows? Yeah. 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 Today, the crowd reaction was just really good the whole time. Like, Brisbane always gets up. It's crazy. Brisbane's it's always so been the second one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah, we yeah. love our music. Up here. Always so fun. <laughs> our music and our beer. Two things we love. Yeah. <laughs> So when you start coming around and writing some new material again, then are you going to continue in that direction or are you going to try and find a happy medium in between the two albums? We're finding it out as we go. Yeah. I, think, I don't think we're ever going to like backpedal to get a medium of anything. And I also don't think we're going to stay in the one spot where we're like, Because like, how tastes change, how interests and how sort of like, we go through different phases. So it's just like we listen to different things every couple of years. So that sort of comes through the music because you know, we, get, we get bored of those. So would you say that it's like more musical experimentation or are you guys still trying to find your musical personality, I guess? I think we'll be forever finding that. I think that's the that's the chase that we do it for, is to find out who we are. Yeah. We should keep trying to pursue that until um, we're 40. Yeah. Cool. And then maybe that's it. We'll see how we go. Yeah, you go. And do you sort of sit down like, when, when you're playing into covers, it is a bit of a big shift between the albums. So, like, do you sort of sit down and wonder if you have gone too far with the fans, or like, does that come into consideration? No, fucking no. <laughs> Exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> So, uh, what, what do you got planned next then? Go on, are you saying you have a good time off? <laughs> yeah, we do. We just, I think we need to retrain our mental health and our financial stability for a little bit. 
Um, and then we have the massive year already packed, like ready to go, which we're all like freaking out about. Can you tell us anything about that yet? Or? We, you know what? My hands are tired, and I can't tell you anything. You're tough, it's, oh yeah, <laughs> I can tell you that we will be playing in different countries and also in Australia. Cool. That's about it. I cool. mean, we'll be back here in February. We will be. Thank you. So I can take that means to January here on the season. I'm not January, assuming, I'm not, we I'm not are, assuming because I looked. <laughs> January we have, I think it's one of the only months we have off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have our first actual month off. So when you say back in, you mean back in Brisbane? Back in Brisbane in February. Oh yeah, cool. I'm not going to push any further because you don't sound like you want to tell me. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a thing going on here, guys, called Good Things Trivia. We're asking all the fans pretty much the same questions. So to be honest with you, it's a bit of a, a bit of a steal thing for next year. So the guys can use it for a bit of promo for next year's thing. So uh, answer them as honestly as you want, or we'll answer all of them if you want. It's up to you. Um, what would you say have been some of your highlights so far? Good things. Who surprised you the most? 
Uh, I actually thought Nova twin, Twins are really sick. I caught them on stage five briefly the other day and just sounded really cool. I'd never heard of them before, apart from their, like, their feature on that Bring Me Sub. Um, but yeah, it just sounded really sick, like really interesting. Pale Dusk, Pale Dusk. Pale Dusk, yeah. Soulfly were... Soulfly like, were... I haven't heard of Soulfly, but I never really listened. And I watched them, I was like, this is sick. Yeah, Dino yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, they went very well. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that did be one of the open. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so look at your crystal ball here for us guys. What three bands do you reckon might be a good thing for 2023? Oh, maybe Parkway? I want to say Architects? No, no. Architects. Uh, yeah. um, I would love to say... Turnstile? Turnstile. Oh, that would be good. I love them to get like Raging Against the Machine or something. Oh, yeah, 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 they go somewhere, yeah, somewhere big like... Lift Biscuit. Yeah, true. Biscuit would be funny. Lift Biscuit already did. Oh, they're doing download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, what, what up and coming bands out there that you think should play next year? Blue. Blue. Blue from Sydney. Uh, oh. Static Dress from the UK. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'd like to see Deadlines up there. Deadlines are good. That'd be cool.